It's Walt Disney's head, reanimator style, mm-hmm. on top of it the... It ate me out. So I'm not jerking off. I'll just, I'll just, just like... Yeah, just toy it. Shake it around. Shake it. Pinch it a little bit. Birds are false. Face news false. Fuck birds. Birds are fake. Birds are fake. False news. Fuck. Is this like a stand by me finding a body in the woods thing, yeah, you guys? But you find your dicks over? grinding upon yeah. one another. I uh, what one of the things I came down to the dungeon with today was the fact that uh, I found something I finally don't like. Uh, and it's probably not for reasons that you would think one would think I would have a critique of it. It was a movie. I had a critique of a movie. Uh, and one would think I would wouldn't like the story or the plot or the acting. But my big detractor from it was the fact that there was a three year old sitting in the front who uh, spoiled every single major plot point five seconds before it happened in the movie, which was incredible (laughs) for a movie that just came out to have a child fluent enough to understand after several watches what happened. I don't know if he was an industry plant (laughs) sent in there for me to possibly fuck up and not do good on this podcast anymore. I paid that Because everybody knows that the headline defamed podcast shyster fast finger slim beats baby beats in baby. movie theater isn't gonna look good no matter how thin you don't you want slice beats it. baby either. no be you beats you don't is the, the, worst. the word the words slim and beats baby should never be together in a sentence no. much less a headline in the Chicago child Tribune. is great uh, that is that beats is a baby is assault's be. child is like a red hot bloody looking word beats baby beats baby i think could be misconstrued yeah beats baby beats could, could be baby. very misconstrued yeah you don't want to be how did he beat the baby with his fist did he use objects in baby. the theater so you hate the baby I, I i didn't want to hate the baby but i definitely wanted to take the baby yeah. and throw the baby you, you gotta take the baby we've you been saying it for we, fast math i'll say 83 episodes i'll say i was gonna say 83 years yeah i've will, been saying it my whole say, life I when will, i came out of the womb i will say i was reminded a year ago we recorded episode 39 of this shit show yeah and, and right here we are at 90 Two. 92 good god 92. will it ever end welcome back to the dapper fucking dads everybody we haven't done introductions in a couple of episodes i'm slim i'm drama it's very nice to meet all of you first time <laughs> listeners who came into this yeah. i don't know why you picked this one uh, is exclusive for first timers if you listen to us before then uh, it was we'll, we'll see you on 93 okay yeah this one is Get so ba- this out. one is just going to be us uh it's going to be like a clip show episode we're yeah. going to take lots of old clips and put them yeah. together but none of us want to do the work and I say uh, none of us because we have a huge team. So of people uh, working constantly. We have several gonna, interns in the corner of yeah, the dungeon right now. They are just scared grinding interns. away. They're scared because I ca- I have the remote that shocks the collars when they're not doing what I want them to do, and they are never doing I what know. I want them to they're do. They're always just scared. constantly. They are constantly screwing around. If I catch constantly them, screwing, they're constantly which, which I don't mind a couple. No. I mean, go back into the we utility. said it in the interviews. You, you have to. You got to screw a little should. at the you office. You should have sex. You can't make anyone do anything. You can't force anyone in 2019, but. It's, well, company, you got a PR it's company policy that you should come into work just a little hornier than usual. Yeah. You know, try try, try to be a li- try to be a li- not grabby, but just a little bit more open than you are. You got to have a world, level you know? of horniness to get your work done. And it's not you like, can't and, wake and, up and, and jerk off because then your whole day is blown. It's and it's not for us at all. Like well, no. I don't want anyone to think this is for us. Nothing. We're not doing any screwing no. around here. We're the bosses. We're doing the actual yeah. hard work. We're letting you guys screw on the clock. Yeah. So that you can relieve some tension. It's benefits pack. We are trying to make sure you keep your creativity up, your stress down, no more buttholes, more tears. We watched 2019. We watched a small portion of Wolf of Wall Street because the movie is far too long. Far too long. And what I got from it is more sex in the workplace. Yeah, absolutely. As long as everyone's and, down. And uh, Quaaludes, from what yeah, I understand. Yeah, a lot of Quaaludes. Quaaludes, Quaaludes and cocaine. We're and... bringing Quaaludes back. Yeah, we're making some exclusive Dapper Dads Quaaludes. <laughs> yeah. uh, they are red powerful. And, red and yellow pills with yeah. DD. It looks like the Daredevil logo. Yeah. We uh, we bought it from Marvel, believe it or not. That's what all of your Patreon money yeah. is going for. Uh, we're Which picking... you might think, there's not enough people at the Patreon, and you're right. You're Please right, God. there isn't. So for we the love promised of God. them the money. We keep saying the check's in the mail. Yeah, wait, but we're sending it in pieces, and they're the like, mail. this isn't what we agreed to. And we're going to say, well, you didn't read the fine print, Disney. And they didn't. No, Disney you never think with that whole whole team of lawyers they would have one guy specifically yeah. assigned to read the fine print but uh i guess disney he was... the best company ever let's not get it misconstrued yeah. we, we can't be taken offline we love our overlords at the disney corporation absolutely thanks we, for buying we Simpsons. love you we love you lord mickey and we look forward to producing a podcast under yeah. your very strict guidelines yeah 
And uh, we were still awaiting the uh, unthawing of Walt himself. Yes, uh, or at least just the head. We don't know what remains. Yeah. If anyone can make a robot body with a living head, it's Disney. It's got to be Disney. It's, if it's not Disney, have you who seen, is Have it? you seen Elon some of Musk? Disney? Have you, uh, collaboration? <laughs> yeah. Although that Disney... Uh, Elon his, Musk collaboration? company? The Boring Company? Tesla? Tesla. Yeah, what, either one. Disney Tesla? Disney Tesla. And it's they're like so it's like a flying car. Nope, it's Walt Disney's deceased head. It's Walt Disney's head reanimated, reanimator style, Mm -hmm. on top of a on top (laughs) on top of a giant Wild Wild West style robot body. Yeah, like uh, Men in Black, or no, like uh, (laughs) what am I thinking? I have Will Smith. Was it just called Wild Wild, Wild, Wild West? West? Yeah, that was the name of the movie, The Wild. I get them confused. Don't you remember the song Wiki Wild, Wiki Wild, yeah. Wiki Wiki Wild Wild <laughs> West? The song Jim I listened West, to Desperado, Rough Rider. No, you don't want Nana. None of this. Brother, I'm more this. of a Miami Gun, brother, guy. If we're, if we're talking Will Smith classics, I'm a big Miami guy. I'm going to the party where the heat is on all night on the beach till the break of dawn. I'm going Welcome to Miami. Welcome to Miami. <laughs> Yeah, come on, That's Smith. Get night, back in the game. On. Your son's making you look like a bitch. Yeah, he's making you look like a chump. You're out here being a weird blue genie when you could yeah. be cutting some fire tracks, but yeah. instead Jaden's up here taking up the Do airways? parents understand, or can we do a parents don't understand 2020? Nine, 2020. Remix. Everything's coming at 20. Remix. Can you we do a 2020 time. remix of parents just don't understand with Jaden? Yeah. You think he would do something, but and maybe Willow. his dad does understand. Maybe, uh, you know, I think of all the parents that understand, yeah. Will Smith is the dad yeah. that understands. Yeah. And I then, wish Will Smith was my dad. What's uh, what's the wife's name? Uh, Cecilia J- Smith? Jada Pinkett Smith. Yeah. And she's in like a like a metal band? Yeah, she's in a new metal band. Yeah. Uh, Old metal uh, now. Well, no, it's, it's still new new metal. <laughs> With the U? Some of that burr burr ding, burr burr ding, burr burr ding, burr burr ding. It's been a while since we brought up new metal too much. I was wondering if we were going to get back to it. Don't hit the table. You know what happens. That, that's still a banger. I don't care what anyone says. I uh, only listen to saliva. No. Oh. Click, I click, see boom. The blood all over No, your not hair. that one. <laughs> click, I click, just boom. can't live without you. I hate that. One song. time, way after Saliva was relevant, I was in the car with my mom and my sister, and Click, Click, Boom came on the radio for mm-hmm. some reason, and I used to enjoy How it. How early so sang, 2000s is that? Song? So I sang every word, word to it. Could you still And my mom, every word? and I don't know now. If I heard it, I could probably I could fiddle my way you through it. You could workshop through yeah. it. Yeah. But I knew every word at the time, and my mom and sister were both like, what in the fuck is going on? Click, click, boom. Wrapping along. Yeah, if you love saliva, go to www.salivatheband.com. Ah, fuck. And tell them how much you love them. Tell them we sent you. Yeah, tell saliva. Then you can go to the dapperdads.com if you want. There's shit there. But make sure you go to saliva's official website. First, and let them know that we see sent what, you. See what small bar they're playing at soon. <laughs> Here's what you in do. A, in a city way away from Far. yours. Not a big one. Not a big one. Here's, a weirdly here's small what you do. One. Go to the saliva website. Tell them the dapper dad sent you. Go to the dapper dad website tell him saliva sent you. yeah please please do both of <laughs> tell these. us saliva sent you we'll get in touch with saliva maybe we could cut like a hit single with him or something yeah i would like to because if it's my, if saliva's it's my... probably 15th album for some reason because every time you look into a <laughs> like band, these new metal bands yeah, every that are time you still look going into a band that you're like they for sure stopped in no the mid you know 2000s. good charlotte is still going oh i know and good sure uh seven dust is still going i look i shouldn't have i went to go listen to uh i think it was waffle recently by I seven dust Remember any of their songs? Oh, I I still know a bunch of Seven Dust songs. As it turns out, by me going to Spotify. Yeah, once yeah, and, once you do a, a dive. Oh man, I start. So I was real. I was like a super new metal kid, and I go on these Spotify dives sometimes, where I just go to like the related artists and see what yeah. I remember, and I'll find like those one hit wonder singles oh, that I totally yeah. forgot about, and I'll have the worst flashbacks of me in my mom's house at like 13 years yeah. old on LimeWire with my headphones plugged into the computer tower, mm-hmm. so I could listen to him but the headphones jack was all the way in the yeah. back of the tower so for like, some reason so my neck is well, kinked because yeah, like, it's like problem because it's like 4 30 in the morning on a school night and i'm up downloading the new slipknot album but in the meantime i'm listening to you know uh god what was that goddamn one band P-O-D. i was thinking P- of pod P-O-D, P-O-D, uh hurt do you remember hurt at all 
vaguely. I feel like I can see the logo Who's in this my mind. This ten-ton brick is making me oh, sick, yeah. breaking my bones with the weight of it. <laughs> I love, I love Spotify for the playlist that other people make because yes. you'll just be like new metal and someone's compiled like a couple years of your life yeah and you're like fuck yeah and it's like the most it's like everything oh god I just it's it's weird I did that we recently with 90s yeah first I went I it was when I was going to Florida so I was like need a lot of 90s so I went with a 72 hour 90s mix Ugh. found a lot of songs I'd never even heard and I was like all right we got two general here let's go right. with 90s more... super hits right narrow yeah. it down and yeah the whole time you're just like I fucking remember Natalie and Bruglia torn oh wow <laughs> yeah, did you just right? hit me with that good yeah I'm going <laughs> I hate being on my phone on the show I'm but adding gotta, that to my Spotify yeah, you gotta playlist download it right fucking now yeah, nothing better than screaming torn in your car by yourself on a dirty old road. Go to your email provider and email dapperdadspodcast at gmail.com. Send uh, us your just, favorite obscure Spotify uh, playlist so from the beautiful. past. beautiful. Yeah, my sister loved that album. And I loved your big head covering the whole front. Oh, of it. just look at Okay. <laughs> Can't play too yeah, much. Can't we'll play get thrown but you, off the should, show. That yeah. should at least give you a taste. I wonder Ugh. what she looks up now. I wonder what she looks like now. I'm gonna look her up. Man, you know who I? I you know her. who I think has always been beautiful all throughout their the entire pink career. Power Ranger. You, from God, the original yes. Power Rangers. But I, I was tweeted gonna, her. I think she blocked me. Uh, she probably did. She, she also blocked me because she, of you. So thanks yeah, a lot. She blocked the brand. She blocked everything. I, tweet, I was drunk and I tweeted at her after workshopping it amongst the uh, group of friends how to explain to her that I was attracted to her and she gave me a little kid boner. And I was going to say it in the worst way because I was going to say, you gave me a five-year-old boner. And people were like, well, does that mean like the boner that a five-year-old could produce or you've had a boner for five years? And I was like, yeah, we should we should make this clearer. Or are you saying that the boner you have right now would be a boner that a five-year-old would have? Yeah, that's what I mean. It's one or the other. So I uh. said, you gave five-year-old me a boner. And she did not respond, which I think she's a little which stuck is, up. Bitch. Just a little what bit. If we could doing? air that out, You're yeah. The Pink Ranger. We have Paula and Duel the following us Green on Twitter. Ranger. I don't want to hear it. Yeah, if I'd have done it from this was a couple of years ago. Oh yeah, if you'd done it now, we definitely yeah. would have got a response. She would. Yeah. Should we reach out yeah. to the Pink Ranger now I and tell her we, this story? I think we have. To. I think it's kind of implied <laughs> that we're know. going to. And yeah, I want to know what's up with Tommy the white slash green ranger right the what, most exquisite ranger there's ever been what my original answer was <laughs> instead of the <laughs> my original answer instead of the pink ranger was fiona apple i always think ah uh, yeah because like she, she's she, like a, that's when you realize you like dirty girls with messy lives <laughs> you know what i mean that oh video my god uh yeah she's just like in the <laughs> tub and she's <laughs> just on the floor <laughs> and she's just going through some shit and i'm like i can fix bad, you yeah i'm like yeah girl. you have been like, oh, where's where's Fiona Apple in my bathtub? And then it's followed home, up with you know? <laughs> Macy's play Macy's playground, sex and candy. Oh, and then I'm getting all I confused as a kid. Candy. I could have seen them open up for Everclear, but I decided to drink a bunch Who's more beers. Because I was like, I know it's their last song. We can get there in time for it. And you didn't. I drank more beers. Of course you did. <laughs> you know how this I works. I think it's better that way. I saw Everclear. That's all that really matters at the end of the day. Call 402-7-DAPPER. That's 402-732-7737. Leave a voicemail singing your favorite song that made you feel weird in your private parts as a child. And we'll try to figure out how old you are. Do Host by Ramstein. Yeah, that one. The fire video. Yeah. Yeah, that made me feel. Fire fraud. That made me feel aggressive in my grandma's living room. Bang, bang. Uh, we have a voicemail that we'll be getting to. We have some other submissions we have a that are. A slew of submissions. Interesting. Some beautiful, one interesting one. Uh, a couple of beautiful ones. Yeah. Some that made us feel icky. Yeah. Some that made us really horny. Yeah. Uh, a couple and you that have made to us. Choose. A couple that made us so wet. Yeah. And not in a good way. And one that made drama stretch out the neck on his shirt. So wait till, yeah, you, so wait till you hear that. That's what I'm going through. Follow us on Twitter at Dapper Dads, where we will be tweeting several women we just spoke about. Several women, especially. We'll be... I'm going to get a Fiona Apple right now, actually. Yeah. See, we'll... see if I can add her on my Finsta. Yeah. Tell her uh, if that's the apple that Eve ate, I understand it. That's what we're, we that's, should we tweet it out yeah, right just, now. Let's wait right now. Let's we'll, wait till after we'll the workshop show. It, yeah. No, but, I want to uh, say I want to say I, I want to say Fiona Apple, you gave me a five year old boner. <laughs> Yeah, I can tell you that one doesn't work out well. Ah. Follow us on Instagram at Dapper Dads Podcast, where we won't be posting pictures of their replies because they will be 
Uh, Rude, to say yeah, the least. Yeah. They're going to be very They will upset. be direct. <laughs> One out of the, the three has to be impressed. One of the three has to respond to yeah. us. I, I, I mean, mean, I'm sure they'll all respond, but yeah, I'm sure yeah, some just, will be like affidavits. Yeah. Cease and desist <laughs> cease and letters. Desist, yeah. yeah, I hate getting this. I, if I get one more goddamn <laughs> cease and desist letter over Twitter of all places yeah. to send me something, for the love of God. Yeah, I'm using them to board up all my windows. I'm using them as ass wipe at this point, because that's mm-hmm. what I think about your cease and desist Jeez. order. And then you're sending the picture back like, oh, no, fuck, the no I'm first faxing number. it back, and they can't <laughs> read no it. No one's <laughs> getting it. No one's getting it, and it stinks up whatever copier I am using at the library. An old timey diner I, is getting your facts, and they're just very upset. I have been kicked out of the UPS store. Ah, uh, finally! It's about damn it's time. Someone yeah, we said, made some copies that were not favorable. It's about damn time, an old man said as they drug me out of there. Yeah. Uh, go to www.patreon.com slash Dapper Dads. Pay the money, get the shit, and boy is it shit. Boy, is there a Hot lot of it. shit. But you don't want to be the only person not experiencing it. No. You're being left out. Exclusive episodes every month un- mm-hmm. under the $5 tier. And sometimes you other things. And sometimes some very weird graphic yeah. things. And we say things that we, honest to God, cannot say on this show. Yep. So if we have said yeah, things on Disney here. Disney knew about what we were if, doing under a paywall. If you think the things we say on here are too much why don't you check out what happens behind a paywall uh because it turns out for money we'll do almost anything and we have been yeah, begging people said, forever to tell us what to do for money because if you said everything genuinely like we we would love more sponsors but let's face it we are not a family friendly brand at all mm-hmm. uh so we will gladly just and we're take, only reaching out to family type brands right and so we will gladly just take uh cash or money donations from yeah. you guys to literally do whatever you because because here's what i was thinking you know because you see like these cam girls online you know because this is like a I huge don't. thing well let's speak for yourself uh i gotta see a dick i mean speak for yourself uh i saw uh, i saw a, a thing the other day where a guy was saying he was watching a cam girl and she was using a dildo uh above Gross. in the bathroom in her ass oh my gosh uh, and she slipped because she was on her tiptoes by the sink and the whole thing went into her ass and she made a noise like a caribou getting struck by a car and getting its throat ripped out at the same time I'm going to have to look that. You up. can't get that type of unpredictability in just regular porn. They edit all that. If that happened oh, in a regular yeah. porn, they would just edit it all together to make it look like it didn't happen. You can't get that type of live thrill unless you're watching some pre-recorded video of a cam girl on XNXX.com, and I will die on this hill. Uh, you can watch those porn compilations where accidents happen during the filming of the porn. You could, but there's no like thrill a, like in that. Like that cameraman you know? gets came on to. Uh, yeah, nobody likes that. No. But, I mean, that's all that does it for but, me. But what I'm saying is a lot of these cam girls, what they'll do is like they'll have like a chat set up for mm-hmm. what they're doing. And for money, they'll do different things. Oh, I'm not saying we be. Can- I'm not. Yeah, it's a it's a dangerous game to be oh, 100% I know. honest with you. Depending I'm on, saying depending on how much brave bit- things in there. I would say depending on how I've much- got five tokens. And I'm I'm ready say depending to spend. on how much Bitcoin you got, you could do some uh, scary things to people's lives. Uh, but what I'm saying is we don't necessarily go down the cam whore route. But since it's very Thanks. hard for us, I mean, I would love to be a cam whore. Let's be 100% honest. What are uh, you doing it? You play with yourself or you put things in your butt? Uh, I'm thinking just play with myself unless people – if someone pays me enough, I'll put something in my butt, I guess. How much? Like 10 grand. Oh, that's excessive. I don't want to put things in my ass. That's, I would do that's, it for less probably. How much? <laughs> less than I would less than I would think <laughs> probably because that number is usually oh. around three thousand dollars I just need three thousand dollars it would clear up pretty much everything that I, would, I would say that's why I'm going with 10 if it's I had like 10, I it shove would... something in my ass for three thousand dollars or some big men break my knees <laughs> I, I guess I would take something in the ass yeah. I guess as much as I hate put, admitting that. They'll put something in your ass. I, they'll, yeah, they'll do that anyway. So why That's don't you just, just avoid the knee breaking? That's just a fun little bonus after yeah. your knees are broken. But what I'm saying is, so, I mean, maybe we could be cam whores. I mean, okay. I'm not saying we have to do anything sexual How many people want to see us by ourselves play with ourselves? Nothing gay together because we know everybody wants that. Yeah. And we'll figure that out. Give that a couple years when we're really out of ideas and we'll have gay sex in front of everybody. But in the meantime... Who wants to see us just fiddle our junks? I'm not jerking off. I'll just, I'll just like, fiddle with it. Yeah, just Toy it. shake it around. Shake it, pinch it a little bit. Yeah, like when you're pissing at the urinal. When yeah. You say two shakes, you're playing with it. Yeah, but three I'm times always, you're playing with yourself. Always playing with it. Uh, but what I'm saying is, like, instead of sponsors, people should just give us money to do what they want. Yeah. So, like, I mean, obviously, like, I'm not, we're not taking And we requests. will take the money and not fulfill the engagement. Depending on what it is. Yeah, I mean, insane. like, if, yeah, if it's insane. If it, no, $3,000, Slim will put something in his ass. This, so. is a, this is a very real thing I'm going to throw out into the world. For uh, the right amount of money, 
and the, things and could give, happen. Things could happen. Giving Matt us Gaze giving Gaze. us the money to give give us the means to do so, we'll pretty much do whatever people want. Like we're not above it. We just don't have the funds. I mean, obviously, we're like you can't send us a bunch of money and be like, okay fuck each other and film it and send it to yeah, me. That's, that's not going to happen. Yeah, but if you want to see us like do something crazy, like go do something publicly, like if you give us the money and it's not illegal and yeah, there's a huge asterisk there. Yeah. There's a huge asterisk there t- t- tell you what, here's where we'll break this down. Go to our email, email us what you want us to do. Let us know what you're willing to donate for it to happen. And we will let you know within legality, what we are willing to do to work around that. Yeah. We'll figure it out. I'm, I'm down for some, some inquiries but yeah i'm not going to make any promises yeah i won't promise anyone anything how much would it take how much would you have to be paid to just fiddle your junk like on like a live internet feed for one person a closed room (sighs) and they can't screenshot it yeah so like they're just watching me on like a laptop or something i mean i don't know it wouldn't be that much right i'd say a couple grand okay what if it's a guy does it change no i feel like i would i mean i don't do do i know who it is watching me or is this like an anonymous thing where they're like, I'll, I'll. No, ma- you know, but it's not necessarily like someone you know, but it could be. But I know, like, of the person. Like, yeah, there's I know. like, it's like when you get an Uber. There's a picture, a name, okay. and their license plate for some reason. Okay. <laughs> and the just type a of car they of their drive. Driver's license. Yeah, and it says they're three minutes away, and then you're scared. <laughs> but it looks like uh the JPEG veteran hoodie he had with his driver's license on it. But yeah, that actually is the JPEG one. I'm like, is yeah. JPEG mafia paying to watch me jack yeah, off? That's what he does with all this show I would money. Love that. And I would love if he took the eighty dollars <laughs> I spent on this hoodie and paid me with it to pay me to jack off into a video. So it takes eighty dollars. Well, so we I mean, found we finally found your price for you JPEG it mafia. It's eighty dollars for everyone else. It's no, a, it's got to be a flat a fee for everybody. Okay, here's what I'll say. I'll say for just to make it fair. 500 bucks i'll play with my dick on camera for somebody <laughs> finally 500 bucks 500 bucks yeah because i've always thought about that like i wouldn't because be, i mean it's, it's not gay if i like taking this out of the equation putting it out there publicly i would be like never put my face on camera and shake my like just jerk off even if guys if, were watching if, for yeah, if m- that, money if that's what somebody wants care. yeah because as long you're as you're not seeing know. my face there's no like you can't discern my penis from a lot of other white penises. Right, and I mean nobody said I had to be naked. I could still, I could be Donald Ducking it and just jerking oh, yeah, off into the camera. If I'm, if nobody, nobody wants to see yeah, his belly say, with me jerking it off. If we're being paid that money, that angle, good God. Yeah, if we're being paid money, my shirt stays on for both of us. Because yeah, you don't want this pale belly flopping over. But yeah, heavens no. If it's just me just jerking off, I'd have to jerk it left because I have a tattoo on my. Right I was going to say, that's what I would have to wear like a long sleeve shirt to cover oh, up yeah. my tattoos so yeah. nobody could recognize me, but... I'll just wear gloves. I mean, that's fair. Yeah, real velvety gloves. Mid- gigantic oversized Mickey yeah, Mouse Mickey gloves. Mouse you're gloves. jacking Disney. off. <laughs> I just say Disney over and over. And just Disney ads are coming, and then you make <laughs> that goose noise. Yeah. Oh, honking like a goose. <laughs> Could you imagine paying money to see a man jerk off, and then at the end he comes with a very disturbing noise? Would you be like, I need like a third of my money back? No refunds. <laughs> God Baby. damn it. I should have read the fine print. You should have. That guy fucking. I've, uh, you know how like the, all the target marketing that happens? Yeah. Like you say something, then a, a, an ad pops up and it's weird. Yeah. I have been for a while now targeted very specifically by ads claiming birds aren't real. <laughs> Did I tell you about this? No. Is this because on the show we talked about bats being man, mammals or birds? I don't know. I think it was pre that. It's just kind of come up on like Facebook and I'm not always on there. So I'm always Is this like, why maybe. you think that bats are birds? No, because I because birds aren't real. I still stand behind that. Um, oh, is this how, about how like birds are surveillance things? It's just like, like I didn't want to look into it too much because I'm easily persuaded. And yeah. honestly, after thinking about it, who knows? But it's just a very weird ad campaign, and I don't know what I did to get onto this. I but I constant. It's just like on the side of Facebook and like youtube and shit it'll just be like birds aren't oh. real it's to the point where i'm like starting to feel like it's targeted weird to you. yeah like <laughs> the birds aren't real. birds aren't are birds not real no birds like, are real like i've seen yeah birds. they're there i held a baby bird a couple of weeks ago can you prove it yeah can you prove it wasn't ma- man-made i mean all birds are Betsy, how do i do that 
I think you got to kill it. No. You got to cut it up. But I mean, there could be some sort of mind control. I don't know. I'm just starting to think maybe birds aren't real. I am starting to think that you're very easily persuaded by things that you read on the Imagine internet. every time you're on the internet, everywhere you look, it says birds aren't real. Uh, I you guess know what that I mean? would begin to feel tarted. I'm gaslighting. Maybe you should about stop birds thinking that birds aren't real and maybe it'll I stop I think they're real up. when I see them, but then I read What if after this hours... conversation, your phone picks this up and oh, you yeah. just get nothing I'm hoping... but targeted bird ads for the rest of your life? I think it's already there. Like I said, this has been happening for a while now. I was waiting for it to die down and get like I talk about a lot of shit, I and I'll get other things. I have been targeted by so th- this is how I knew Facebook and Instagram were connected because because they had the ads on Instagram now, and it didn't and it used to be they were just kind of like randomized. It mm-hmm. looked like the ones that people paid for, but now it's like it's like the Facebook thing where you say something and it yeah. comes up because one of my coworkers brought RBI breakfast into work. And uh, I it it smelled so good to me. Like I keep I I was telling somebody about it later, and I was like, man, that RBI breakfast smelled so good. I was willing to risk it all for some bacon and eggs because like it just it was one of those like nostalgic like yeah. diner smelling breakfast smells for me. And I was like, good God, I would give anything for that comfort in the stressed out situation right now, you know. And so I was just talking about how much I really wanted to eat that breakfast. And then like three days later, I started getting ads on Instagram for RBI's breakfast that like they posted about, and I'm like, yeah. this is insane insane like i, I have stand this. one so much better than that i was coming out here one day with my girl and a car pulls out of the church that we're driving by and on the left side they have a wind- window decal of the pope looking at you and waving and i was like who in the fuck There's buys no a way. window no decal of the pope and so she's looking it up while I'm driving. She finds the website right off the bat. Right. It's like 14 bucks. We're reading reviews. We're laughing. It's such a random, shocking thing to see. That same day later, I click on Facebook. The first ad I see is the picture of the window post. That is crazy. Like, it's that. Yeah. When people are like, I don't think it's real about the targeted ads. I'm like, are you fucking stupid? Because I read a thing about someone putting their phone next to the tv Mm -hmm. on the spanish channel and then all their ads come in spanish wow yeah it's like that real so that's what i'm saying how am i getting these fucking bird ads everywhere i've never publicly said i don't believe birds are real (laughs) now are birds real? yeah now i'm gonna but it can't become more than it is you had to be drunk at some point and like doing like a youtube like you know what birds aren't real. no what i'm saying is like you had to be drunk at some point doing like a youtube dive or something and you had to like like, click a video and then you must have like been drunk and passed a lot of drunk youtube dives i do i love drunk youtube dives i do but i'm always to do i can't look at a phone when i'm that drunk anymore man i ate like a whole bunch of edibles one time and i went on an eight hour youtube dive and it was one of the best things ever and i that that was what convinced me that youtube that dives aren't real no well I've, I've first of all i've always believed that and i've constantly screamed it into your phone when i'm not <laughs> okay. around uh i mean i can fit all right it's me all right we'll talk about the elephant in the room i've one of, one of my passions i've been doing in my spare time is whenever you leave your phone alone with me i pick it up and i go birds are real 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 birds are not real birds are fake birds are fake news they are false birds are false fake news false fuck birds birds are fake birds are fake false news fuck and then i hear you coming back and i just very delicately put the phone right back where i found it i take the two i take the two pieces of tape that i laid down where the phone was at and i rip them up and it's clearly been working working. hearing you talk about it now gave me such a sense of joy that i am gushing out i can no longer keep this within i've been trying to make you think that birds aren't real for about the last uh <laughs> since the day i met you oh. Jeez. um i just want to see if your phone if you start getting birds aren't real ads and if anyone else it doesn't have to be right now no what i'm saying is let's, i'm just gonna i'm going to hold you know i'm just going to open it ears from where it was I would say, i'm just going to have my phone sitting right here in front of us and let's just say that uh you know birds aren't real there is no I agree. way birds are not real birds are not real or there, are birds real is could i buy 
not real birds. And now I want to know, after this comes out, everyone listening, if you come across an ad that says birds aren't real, let us know. You have to let us know. Also text us and let us know your weird targeted ad stories that you yeah. have. Because whenever, whenever I bring this up with people, everyone always has like an interesting yeah. story for they it. You know, crazy ones. So if, let us know your weird targeted ad stories. Yeah. Because I know there's got to... Because like, yours is top notch, where it was the exact yeah. same thing. It was unbelievable. Let us know your crazy... Even if it was like a friend or something, let us know like the craziest yeah. one that you know about. Because I get very generic ones. T-shirts, hats, streetwear, right, shoes... Like- rap albums, right like a, like i'll search everything that i look up online does facebook own youtube now like are they a conglomerate i don't think so because i feel like sometimes when i do a search for things on youtube it comes up on my facebook for ads what a beautiful segue because on the last episode we talked about how uh the search terms that lead people to our videos uh-huh. are interesting and uh by the time this comes out we've already posted it on social media but I was looking at it today out of curiosity because I remembered that. And I just wanted to run through a couple okay. search terms because they're so insane. <laughs> and it, it's going to lead back to to what we talked about. There's one specific term in many different ways. And it's like the most popular term. Okay. And I don't understand why. So just a couple here. Some of them are right on Because I know we talked about how uh, serial killer Shrek fan fiction was a popular one. Yes. And that's, I think, because a lot of people serial look for killer, serial killer podcasts. Uh, serial killers Shrek, because Shrek yeah. is a big internet thing somehow. But that's what, like, a lot of these aren't even, like, Related that, in any way. Like, quick. The, the first one, Tall Woman. Okay. It's the most popular one. Does that lead to the episode where we talked about, like, Amazonian women, like, tall women? I don't even, because I didn't look at, like, what it leads to. I don't even know. Yeah, it just lets you search that. So, for instance, if you search tall women, because that's the thing. Oh, I guess, okay, we do come up third on that because we have an episode called The Curse of the Tall Woman and the Little Man. Man. So, yeah, because that's what I was thinking. I'm like, our YouTube isn't popping that much. So, some of these terms are, like, very general. And I'm like, how do you, how many pages are you going through looking for tall woman and then you, you find get to us, us and, and then you, you click on we us, have the answers and there's other like just clicking on i'm it. clearly a tall man the first one is a woman that's six four the second one is a tall woman on the maury povich show and she looks very tall like other shit some other ones we have burps kurt cobain tall women that's okay. the one that keeps coming up tall women yeah so we have tall woman tall women we have werewolf transformation which we talked we talked yeah. about. We have pogs, P A W G S. Hey, that's fat ass white girls. Who's looking for pogs on that's YouTube? That's what I mean. <laughs> Some of them get so sexual. I'm gonna take a. I'm gonna pop a quick YouTube search for pogs and see. What I comes can pull up it up here. right here. It's literally just fucking fat asses p-a-w-g-s there are some fat asses on youtube good god it's just playlists of i am subscribing to pod nation (laughs) but yeah that's what that's what we were talking about last week is people are searching for like wow look at that pog People are searching for like very sexual things on YouTube when you could go to any porn other porn site. You could go to Google. This has to be children looking for. That's like, what porn I'm saying. YouTube. But it gets more intense. So get out, get the fucking pogs out of here. No, there's a lot. Put it away. Of, a lot of decent, not great, decent. Yeah, pogs. some chunky ones. Some real chunky pogs. Uh, then we have Courtney Love. Mm-hmm. Ray Romano impression, interesting, which is perfect. The Church of Ray right Romano, on yeah, right. Well, on impression brand. too. Uh, Chili, good. Just voice, okay. Which I don't know who's just searching. Maybe people looking for voice. like the show The Voice. Yeah, possibly. but you think you put the eh. double penetration. Alrighty, <laughs> Kurt Cobain news, Kurt, which is funny. Kurt Cobain double penetration. Do you think like there's news about Kurt Cobain? Like really? he's doing something yeah, else, he's, and he's working on a new and project. And were the guys breaking the scene with the Kurt Cobain news? Then we have fingering. Okay, I mean, I see the wheelhouse people are in here. They're into uh, Kurt Cobain 
YouTube safe sex and tall women. Yeah, because then it's tall woman in quotations next. As in, like, a tall woman. I'm looking for, that just implies a level of creepiness that I don't like. I'm like, hey, you know, I like a real, because what sounds better to you? When I'm sitting here and I'm describing the type of woman that I find attractive, I'm like, I like a tall woman, or I'm like, Mm. I like a... You know, a tall woman. You I know think what you're I mean? being sarcastic in a the tall... most confusing no, 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 way no. ever. No, I like a tall woman. You know what I'm saying? No, like, I, I like... yeah, that's I... the thing. No, okay, maybe I'm not saying it right. Let me try this a lot. I like a tall woman. You know what I'm saying? You mean a like... tall guy? No, 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 no. I'm straight, bro. I don't. I like bitches. Like I'm looking. I like to fuck a tall woman yeah it's, it just feels like you're trying to a say a tall code woman. no it's not something. a code i'm just saying i like fucking a tall woman you know who doesn't like fucking tall women then we have tall woman versus short man uh, well that, that is, that's very specific yeah i respect it as in like fighting as in like i think a, a sex thing uh, a sex fight yeah a love Definitely. crime yeah i didn't think murder, murder, yeah murder. yeah love crimes oh it's just a tall woman fucking a short man <laughs> Two Love Crimes by Frank River. Yeah. Then we have Bob Barker. Yeah. Which, again, that has to pull up so many things before, before it pulls up one, uh, our one episode. Of Bob Barker with the dapper mouth over his mouth. And we have Slinky Tricks. Which, shout out to whoever's like, I need to learn some Slinky, slinky tricks, tricks in 2019. To impress some bitches. To impress some tall women. And then we have Work Pants. <laughs> I just... Why would... Why are you YouTube Looking, searching work you pants? Were, like video, like reviews of work pants to find like a better pair of work pants. That's my biggest problem is there's not enough information. You're just searching work pants. Yeah, you're like not searching work pants reviews, reviews brands. I don't know what else. Comparisons. Yeah, how to wear work pants. How to iron your work pants. Yeah. How to fold your work pants. How to shit your work. The pants. right type of dress pants to match with your shoes. Uh, the best color of dress pants that hides cum stains slash yeah. shit stains. You've got to be more specific with your searches. Stains. You can't just be hurling words into the internet. <laughs> you and expect can, and it. you see what happens. You find us. Yeah, and it. The statistics words, show that people hurl don't words stick into the around. Internet, find the dapper dads. Um, Baby. Then we have Woody, which is a Woody. white girl booty, similar Ay. to a pog, but completely Woody. different. Give me where all the hooty pogs at. <laughs> And we have burger photography, which is incredible that, that someone that was so searching for specific. burger photography. Uh, Kurt Cobain overdose. Kurt Cobain hootie. <laughs> yeah, that is a disturbing video. When he drops Wait. it low and makes it clap on the stage. Wait. With the lights out. Just clap. It's less dangerous. Here we are now. In a tiny house. I feel stupid. Just twerking asses. Where's my vi- where's my twerk videos to smells like teen spirit? Yeah, there's not enough. There's got to exist. Um, I'm going to pop a quick no, YouTube. No, stop with your YouTube. I want to pop a quick I have YouTube. All the YouTube here. Can you pop a quick YouTube for me for smells like teen we'll spirit get to twerk it. smell? That's after the show. <laughs> smell smells like twerk spirit. <laughs> smells like twerk smell spirit. Twerk smell. <laughs> Can you YouTube twerk smell for me? <laughs> no, this has turned into the wrong thing. You don't want to smell a twerk. <laughs> Face Trust that me, me on our way to twerk. I've been in a party and got a whiff of a twerk. Oh, there ain't boy, nothing, oh boy. There ain't nothing like right that twerk warm. I can't even say it. There ain't nothing like catching a whiff of that that twerk. I can't. This is too many words yeah, for my brain no. right now. Your brain is frying. Oh, it's frying. It's frying. Trying, trying to process a twerk whiff is what it's trying to do. That is a hard <laughs> word whiff? to say. A twerk whiff. Mm. Is that a is twerk that whiff? A, I caught a twerk whiff when I was at the house party. <laughs> the DIY house party where I got a twerk whiff. Oh. That sounds like a weird STD. Yeah, man, I caught some twerk whiff. Is that where like the girl's twerking on you and she gets like some shit on your dick? No, that's not a whiff. That's a stain. <laughs> a twerk stain? Yeah, we've all gotten a twerk stain. We've all gotten a twerk stain. Nothing like getting that swampy twerk stain whiff oh. on the front of your glove pants. Then we then we got <laughs> then we got Ray Romano twerk smell. <laughs> then we have then we have simply erotic. Okay. And we have Charlie in the Great Class Elevator. Wow. So that one worked out. Then we have Nirvana dead. Which is bold because only one of them. Tape Girl is definitely alive. alive. So is Kurt, whatever the hell his name is. He's like a senator now or something. He's bald. He doesn't matter. And then uh, we have Double Penetration Movie. Tall, strong woman. (laughs) 
Then we have what is possibly the most upsetting search, and I'm, I'm sorry to even put it out there. 14-year-old boobs. Oh, oh, oh! Right? Oh, no, if no, you, no, no, no. If you YouTube search something like uh, that, you should be arrested. I want to quit the brand because of this. I hate that. No, 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 no. Hard no. Foot I, down no. No, if you, no, if you're I'm listening a, to this, sh- if you found this show through looking for 14-year-old <laughs> boobs on YouTube, you are you banned be from arrested. this show. You should be arrested. You are can't. Oh, there you, should be a search filter where if you if type you, something like that in YouTube, someone it comes, comes right to, your house. to the FBI. Yeah. I'm not saying that we need government surveillance. Okay, the only reason I won't ban you from this brand is if you're also 14 years old, yeah. looking for 14. But God knows you're probably if not. If you're under 16, you can search for 14 year old. No, but you gotta be like, oh, you gotta be like 15. At yeah, all. you can't. Well, be yeah, like you can't. You can't be 16. You can't be 16. You, can you can't drive a car younger. and look at 14 year old boobs. It's not right. But as a 14 year old, I wasn't interested in 14 year old. Boobs. I, I wanted old boobs. Lady yeah, boobs. I wanted big real. lady well, boobs. Speaking of that, we have grown lady boobs. Do we no. have some grown lady boobs over here? You can see what no. I've been looking to get through to the to the YouTube channel. <laughs> yeah, you never remember our URL. You're just like, oh, grown lady boobs. Uh, grown lady uh, tall women. Yeah, <laughs> that is the, apparently the most efficient I think way you, to find I think them. YouTube is where I'm going to find tall, bangable women. I'm like, singles in my area, they probably hang out on YouTube. And so I tall women. Tall women hang out on YouTube statistically because they don't like leaving the house because people are like look at that tall woman so they hang out at home on youtube all day then we have werewolf we have erotic cereal but cereal as in cereal killer not mm. cereal as in the delicious snack slash breakfast <laughs> tried the um, new uh, dapper dad's breakfast cereal to work with <laughs> then we have uh fingering 18 plus <laughs> that's Thank how you. you do it Thank okay you. mad respect you to whoever did that specific. 14 year old boobs you are banned from this <laughs> yeah. planet fingering 18 plus we're with you we are with you on that i would like to think that's barry popping a quick youtube over there bless you barry if you're listening to this we know you are (laughs) then we have female werewolf tf like the fuck to to, dtf no just tf female Female werewolf werewolf tf to finger probably fingering a female werewolf you don't want to do that. Uh, You're dude, gonna anger it. Uh, then we have la- <laughs> then we have ladies fingering. Okay. Okay. Then we have tall girl fingering. Just tall girl. Tall girl twerk with. We have burping. We have fingering sex movies. Or is this like? <laughs> I I hate to be this guy. It really degrades over time. Is this like Indian men doing YouTube I searches think, yeah. over here? I think it is. I think it is. It's yeah. Children or Indian. foreign men. Foreign men. We'll say foreign. Yeah. <laughs> Bo- Bo- Bob's and Vagine. Yeah. We have uh, erratic cereals, the same as before, but with an S. That's more confusing. Female female werewolf transformation, <sighs> fingered pussy. Okay. Then we have, I, I, and I hope I can get some clarification here. Bokep erotic b b o k e p. That one was Cole. <laughs> what is that? I have no idea, but I okay. assume he does. Bokep. I tried to put it backwards to see if it made more sense. Pickle, <laughs> yeah, pickle, <laughs> pickle, Be- erotic. Pickle, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. I think for episode one hundred, <laughs> record it backwards, but talk forwards. <laughs> we always talk forwards, so we'd have to talk backwards as well. Run it back. <laughs> then we have. Girl fingering herself, slinky, pussy fingering, pussy slinky finger, slinky at, fingering. Add a break, a d i break, fingering sex, tall woman compares, burp, getting fingered. What's with all the Italian fingering? erotic? But both words are spelled wrong. <laughs> <laughs> that's my f- that's the winner who's whoever searching for italian erotic hit I-T- me up i-t-a-l-y-a-n <laughs> erotic there's no way someone thinks that's how you spell italian you Erot- cannot spell italian that's with a, a y that's a italian erotic is with a k instead of a c <laughs> oh, I-T-A-L-Y-A-N. oh put that on a shirt please please put <laughs> italian, italian erotic, erotic. <laughs> Um, uh, and then finally, wife uh, double penetration. Uh, so a lot of just I tell you, I can't get again, over. again, just to emphasize, you can go, you can just Google any of those, except the the one Italian. Well, whoever yeah, you did also that can't so Google. Speak. Google will be like, did you mean anything else? Because this is so wrong. Did you mean isosceles triangle? <laughs> yeah, we end up teaching in a long form way. We end up teaching kids about <laughs> math. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> you know, some sort. the longest form anyone has ever seen. No, that's how my teacher taught me. He wrote Italian erotic, and we were like, wait. And then he's like, isosceles triangle. And I was like, wait, wait. I was furiously <laughs> scribbling I started, notes. I started crying because so much information was unloaded on me at once. It was so powerful. What happened was he put one of those clear pieces of paper on the overhead projector and it just said italian erotic and he said wait no 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 not that and then he put up one that said isosceles triangle and then he said no 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 not that and then he put the italian erotic one back up and he was like i'm just gonna be honest with you guys I'm really into erotic i'm italian really shit. into some italian erotica italian Italian. I t- I'm into Italian. Italian. Next time, Dapper Dad's tip, first date with a girl, be like, hey, what type of food do you like? You know, I figured we'd go out to a nice restaurant somewhere. She'd be like, I don't know, you big. And uh, if you're like uh, if you're like a young curd, pull the dumbass move and take her to Olive Garden. Yeah, stop taking anyone to stop Olive Garden. Stop taking Olive Garden. Stop is not fancy. Olive Garden. Curd, I hope you're listening to this at work and you cannot contain your rage right now because Olive Garden sucks as a first date. The man has screamed at he has me screamed on two different occasions. Face. About, about Olive how Garden. Olive Garden is the place to you as a grown man you do not take someone to Olive Garden on a first date as a teenager from a small town ladies totally acceptable ladies young Kurt is very available and he's ready to he pleasure is very you. available he's in he, some weird shit he, but if you want to be taken out wined and dined at Olive Garden by young Kurt by he young Kurt, will do it just for the excuse to get a big chicken parm well this is my thing too and I constantly think about this like every time I eat there are some Meals that are not date meals, like early dates. First first date, you don't want a sloppy Italian <laughs> dish. Yeah. I'm going to slurp spaghetti noodles while I yeah, ask I you can... what you do for a living right. and how big your family like, what is. What am I going to do? Sit there and use the big spoon to twirl yeah. up the spaghetti like an asshole? Yeah. There's so many mess. It's like taking a girl to like Buffalo Wild Wings and oh. not getting silverware. Yeah, like, that's what I'm saying. You, just, can't, you can't you be, think about you cannot meal. take a girl to bone in Tuesdays at Buffalo Wild no. Wings. It will you have not to end think, well. If you're going on a first date, think of a clean meal to eat where you're it's not gonna get messy. You're not gonna get shit all over your face or in your teeth or a, all crazy. A country fried steak is not a first date. Really. No. Texas Roadhouse, it's too many carbs. She will not sleep with no, you. No, she will not. She, you won't be able to sleep with Go anyone. somewhere. You won't be able to sleep. You're gonna be like, How do they make that bread? <laughs> you're gonna Yeah, <laughs> take more bread. Your balls are going to be busted because she's going to lie and say it's your birthday and you're going to have to ride that big oh mechanical pole up there Did I ever and they're going to line dance there? around you. <laughs> no, I don't think you have. I went with my ex to uh, Texas Roadhouse because it had just opened out here when I was younger and like her dad and I think her grandpa or a group of her family took me out to Texas Roadhouse. I will fist fight anyone who says it's my birthday at a thing yeah. because i cannot I, deal I with cannot that level of anxiety that. it's too I much will just in general with whatever they're doing the texas roadhouse if you're not familiar like it's, you said and i d- break out a fucking <laughs> wooden horse dance. yeah that you have to straddle <laughs> And then and they, they will you up. yell yeah. for <laughs> everyone to look at you, and then they will sing happy birthday to you. See, in a we don't mind back. doing this show because, like, it's just us in the dungeon. But, like, in front of a live audience, this would be nerve-wracking to yeah. do because, like, I don't like that much attention on me. Yeah. Well, if it's a live audience of something we've created and they're fans, it's different. A live audience of people just trying to eat their dinner because you've been there too, and it's not your birthday. And and you're, you're like, like this is the fifth man. birthday. Shut the fuck up. I, yeah, I was. Ben at, is twelve. Great. I was at Chili's. He's looking up fourteen-year-old boobs on YouTube, <laughs> and he's also I guarantee it. And he got to fix that. <laughs> he's looking up fourteen-year-old boobs, and I tell again, erotic. <laughs> yeah. The dad's like, no, that was me. No, that was me. I know what I like. I, just I don't know how to spell. I don't know how to spell, and maybe you should give it a shot sometime before you pass judgment you dapper dads it we're like whoa you found us it's through that big fan yeah huge fan found you guys through italian erotica <laughs> had my dick in my hand and i wasn't disappointed well, let me tell you i'm a sit down wiper i just want to put that on the record but i went I'm like bless up i went to text Real house it was my birthday and everyone knows that i'm not interested in that right yeah and so her her dad was kind of a dick sometimes and i was really terrified that he would do it just to do it and uh we had what I'll say was a very effeminate male waiter. No problem with that. Not it's only all. being said for the story. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Because he, it was like when the check was coming or whatever, and her dad offhand goes, like, good birthday dinner? Not even trying. And the waiter was, like, clearing some stuff. 
and he turns to me and he goes it's your birthday and i was like uh not today or something try to cover it up and he goes you don't want to come take a ride on the saddle and he looked me right in my eyes and i said no and he was like all right and he walked away and her dad was like that was better than if you would have had to get on this on the the horse thing (laughs) like the way the guy looked at me and was like you want to take a ride on the the saddle saddle? yeah so if a man who isn't a cowboy ever asks you to you know what don't even take it (laughs) that's how they get you yeah they look honorable and trusting with those cut jaw lines and that beefcake muscles from throwing bales of hay and they put you up on the horse and they put you on the horse and they're like you say daddy i need (laughs) upsies And they just I'm just picturing us, like, I'm just picturing the squad, like, we take a western vacation, let's go okay. out to, like, Nevada or something, or, like, Wyoming, yeah. and there's, just, like, these real cow- cowboys out there, like, yeah. these cowboys. We take a man trip. We take a man trip. A broke back mountain-esque <laughs> trip. And I'm just picturing all of us, we're just like, Daddy, put me on your horsey. And you have to look down to a man. Yeah, I'm like, Daddy, put me on the horse. They're like, we're gonna need a few more guys. They're like, this is a team lift. Yeah, we're gonna need to get that crane we used to get the pregnant you gotta make, across the You gotta river. make the horse sit down and it's not gonna get up <laughs> no it's just gonna sit there and we're uh, we're just gonna let you ride in the back of one of the trucks another time daddy put me in the truck <laughs> another time i went to texas roadhouse and you know how they're like you you get 15 sides for some reason because yeah. the huge meal we're gonna give you isn't enough and i think i went fries mashed potatoes something else and the lady was like potato salad just trying to carbo lo- load and i was like all of your sides are, are carbs. carbs. <laughs> All of your meals are carbs. Everything here is, is disgusting carb. and unhealthy, but so delicious. And I'm like, don't fucking pass judgment on no, me, you bitch. You fucking... Give me my third strawberry lemonade. I know how many you're allowed to give me. <laughs> if you really don't want someone, you know how I've always, <coughs> <coughs> you know how I've always said. If you don't want your ass kicked, you just got to scream that it's giving you a boner. Mm-hmm. If you don't want your birthday sang to you in a restaurant, you have to talk like a little anime girl about how you're really excited about it. And then they won't bring attention to you. Be like, oh, I love when it's my birthday. And like really get up in their face about it. I just, if man. someone's like, it's his birthday and they're like, we're going to get the thing. I just go, it's going to be my last birthday then. I'll fucking kill myself. That, and I pick up the knife. We are two different And I butter people. the bread. <laughs> oh. But they're unsure. I <laughs> lose skin. So, yeah, the moral of all these stories is go on a date and think about it. Don't be slurping pasta. No, don't be. Don't, don't be, be getting a messy. And, and, and like, listen, Kurt, I'm talking directly to you right now. I understand how delicious a good chicken parm is. I know it's your oh, favorite. Yeah. I, I will. As, they're better at real Italian they're, places. Uh, they're better at real Italian places. But. You need to stop. If uh, you know what, here's another thing. Let's put it on. Yeah, let's just say, ladies of the ladies st- date curd. We're st- starting a dating. Statistically, show. most of our listeners are women. That is a fact. That is. We, we haven't said that. We haven't said that. But we st- don't like to brag. But we don't the like ladies to brag. Love us. But statistically, in through, audio form, and hate us in our real lives. In real lives, they can't stand us, but they can't get enough of our silky smooth caramel esque voices mm-hmm. over the radio. But what I will say is that curd is hot and available. Yeah. He is like a. He is. He is hot and ready. He is like a little caesar's pizza we didn't say it was good we said it was hot and ready and we would like to know if this beautiful exquisite handsome little gentleman was to take you out on a first date to olive garden Mm -hmm. and that's what you didn't know he said uh, he comes and picks you up brings you flowers he's a traditionalist he'll open the door for you he'll come to the door Mm -hmm. to get me he he definitely won't come to the door i gotta talk him up yeah but he won't come to well, let's say at least lie he'll text you bit. here yeah he'll, <laughs> no he'll just put his foot on the horn while he chugs a bush light yeah that's how you know it's kurt coming to pick you yeah, up yeah you don't want to uh, get confused if, hop in the wrong uber and let, get caught in the woods ladies let us know on twitter if you would be willing to go out on a date with young kurt we can set this up we can yeah. organize this yeah. and we need to know and if we'll you, sit at another table we'll sit we'll be there we'll make we'll this we'll make this a dapper dad's experience for you you won't know where we're sitting we won't be able to see us but Will you go out on a date with Young Curd to Olive Garden and let him get and eat a chicken parm? What will you be getting with him? Let us See, know. without the context, Submi- they Submi- don't know how sloppy he can eat. Oh, I'm aware. Nobody knows how sloppy he yeah. can eat until they go out with him. But this is what I'm saying. I want to know. Many I want to know him. what lady that listens to the show is willing to step up to the plate and go out on a let's, date with Young Curd to Olive just, Garden. Let's just let's just cut the crap. Let's no. Let's just be matchmakers for everybody. If you're looking for a partner of if any sort. 
let us know. We'll set up a date. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and go. You know what? The Dapper Dads in the summer of 2019, we're going into the matchmaking business, I believe. I think that love is beautiful in all forms. And everyone knows this about me. I'm a very loving person. And I I can. uh, I'm very positive. Optimistic. Yeah. Far too optimistic. I'm a joyous person. Optimistic. Yeah. We'll uh, I'm a very optimistic person, and I like to believe that uh, uh, we could help people find love with this show. And what better way to help people get connected with us? If you listen to us and you're looking for love, we can connect you with other people that yeah. listen to us and are looking for love. And eventually, I'll say by episode 323, we'll be single and we'll do like a VH1 style TV show where yeah. we're looking for love and you, or a bachelor type who, thing. Who wants to date a dapper dad? Yeah. It would be beautiful. I think it'll be fine. I am very romantic, and I'm also very annoying. Who, who, who? I want to know who's going to take us up on the date idea. Get at us on Twitter specifically. Yeah, I want to know tweet who, at because then we because then we can tweet at Cole too, so we can get this yeah, going. We can in get the him moment. in there. Yeah. Just and in general, if you're not interested in Kurd, which is wrong, it's very tell wrong. us he is the best bachelor. Tell out us there. what what place if you agree is Olive Garden trash. And what place do you want to be taken out to? On a what first do you date. think? Yeah. Or are we? Is it 2019? We don't even date anymore. We just we finger really in the don't. car. Yeah, that's we all finger we really... each other in the car. We finger tall women in the car. We finger tall women in the Olive Garden parking lot. That's <sighs> all it's good for. That is an aesthetic. I am. Yeah. Oh, that is my aesthetic. And if right we work there. up an appetite, unlimited soup and breadsticks. Or just soup bread sticks. or salad. Super salad breadsticks. Bread Sorry, I haven't been in a while. Olive Garden sucks. The breadsticks are good, yeah, but if that's your saving grace the for your bread you give away for free, yeah, then there's a huge the problem. The bread where I could just come in and drink at your bar and you just be like, here's some breadsticks. Yeah. Yeah, we'll get you. Yeah, we'll we'll finger you in a car and give you some breadsticks and uh, get that. Liquor that's out. what we'll do on our part. Yeah, yeah, we'll do that. If if the date doesn't work out with Kurt, we'll finger you in the Olive Garden parking lot. Yeah, and we'll. But think you got to bring food. breadsticks. Yeah, you have to go in and get the. You have to go in, order a bunch of breadsticks. Say you forgot your if purse you, in the if, car. Grab all the breadsticks. If you walk out, if you go out on the date with Kurt, the date doesn't work out. We'll finger you in the car for breadsticks. Okay, yeah. that's fair. That makes sense. Yeah, I like that. So yeah, get at us on Twitter and uh, tell us what other what what the hot date spots are. Tell us more about dating. How you handle it, what you do, what, what do you want a man or a woman to do, what right. do you want to be taken for a restaurant, and where do you want to be physically taken where, uh, when we go home? How do you want to be physically taken? Do you want to be taken, taken at your house? Home. Do you want to come to my house, or you shouldn't go to my house? Are we taking There's each other in the car, trying to relive the yeah. teenage years, seeing if we still got it in us? You don't want to be taken in the car. I mean, you don't want to be. T- I mean, I'm it's, sure. I, I don't How big's know. the car? I mean, it's got to be for me. Do it's got to be a big one car. One of those inflatable things that you can put on the back seat, so it makes it more like a bed. I'm thinking more like the back seat kind of lays down, and you got like hoodies and emergency blankets, where it's all the back lay- seat lays down. Yeah. So we're you working know? with a SUV here. I'm thinking more kind of like what you drive. You yeah. Know, where like it's like you got that back compartment. Yeah. So the seat seats go down, down front. Right. Lay out a tarp. Right. Yeah. And then you've got some blankets back there. I'm definitely not talking about experience when I had to live in my car for a little bit. Yeah. Well, yeah, there was nothing sexual about living in your car. No, that was Except more when you for, jerk off. Well, yeah, of course you have to jerk off. Yeah, you, you need something. You're living in your car. You just park at the Planet Fitness parking lot. You yeah. take all your clothes out of the bags and all your towels and blankets. You make yourself a very nice little cocoon in the middle, and then the sunrise wakes you up. Yeah, and then you work out. And then you work out. Or are you jerking it through because you see girls working out through the window? Or well, guys. You can't see people. Some beef work, you, you can only see like the tops. They got like those. Uh, those That'll work for the, me. I mean, if it works for you, seeing the tops. The gym by my house has full blown windows. My, the one that I go to does It just not. gets steamy. Yeah, it gets very yeah. steamy. And you can't really see in there all the time. So yeah, I'm like, wipe I'm knocking it on the window. Just, wipe the steam away so I can look at your ass on the stair climber. You, you, sleep in the, Sir? you sleep in the Planet Fitness parking lot. You go and you shower. You brush your teeth. You do everything you got to do in so there. So you have a Planet Fitness membership, membership where you're waiting to catch the door when someone you, goes in. Well, you got to scan your tag when you go in there. You can't just, like, slip in there. But if, when the door closes, you can grab the door at the last minute. No, but you can still go in and out of a Planet Fitness. It's not, like, locked. It depends on the hours. I, uh, well, the one I go to is 24 hours. It's always open. Yeah, but sometimes they're locked after, like, there's no workers there. Mm, nope. Always That's workers in mine. Huge problem. Why? I don't need judgment. I mean, I don't need judgment either. But it's, flossing my ass in the bathroom—it's been convenient for me though, because like, there's been times where listen, like, we can't promote Planet Fitness. I'm not promoting them. I'm just it saying I like, like the idea of a 24-hour gym because there's nothing. I love a 24-hour gym, and the people leave, and the door is locked. 
so weirdos can't come in and there's no workers there. Hmm. I don't want workers there. I want the minimum. That's my problem with the gym is when I would like out, no yeah. one to ever see, be there. I, see, that's why I have – Because I'm fucking with machines that I don't know what I'm doing. See, what I do is I do like free weights in my basement. I do all my weight work at home. So that's your Planet Fitness? No, at Planet Fitness. Fit- it's always open. Come on down. <laughs> I'm sleeping in the parking lot Sl- if you know what I mean. Slim's Hell Gym is always open, but – I've been in that gym. But yeah, you, you got to fix that sink. Yeah, you've, I've, I'm actually hand of God this weekend. I'm working on the basement. I'm going to get the base because there is a odor down there that oh, the yeah, house is warming up. Yeah. And it's uh, only going to get worse. I've also moved the cat box down there for well, convenience. Well, I've hidden, I've hidden some things. There are definitely some things hidden down there. And I'm a going to. Uh, wall space. We'll I'm going down with a lot of bleach and a no. lot of pine salt. I would not use bleach because I've peed at a lot of places there. Uh, and you know what's going to happen. And the bleach. Yeah. yeah. You're going to be passed out. Pine salt? Maybe. I don't think it's going to be strong enough. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah. Best of luck to you. But uh, no, I so I do the I do the weights at home, but then I do my cardio at Planet Fitness because I like to run on the treadmill. So I'll just show and that up. way when your heart fails, someone can be right. there to yeah. fix you quickly. Mm-hmm. Exactly, smart man. I know what I'm doing. Smart man, did you tell him when you signed up that you have a real bad heart? Yeah, absolutely. They love that. I told him I was like, yeah, I got a pacemaker, so you're gonna have to revive me if I go down. <laughs> you better watch me when I start running on that treadmill. Sometimes I like to scare him and just like grab my chest really quick ah, and scream. All right, we got a couple submissions we're going to slinky into. Slinky, 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 slinky. Let's see if that Slinky, 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 Um, First one, we got this immediately after we recorded last week. So this one has been heavy on both of our minds. Yes. Let me tell you, it is quite a treat. It is a conundrum. Um, It is from Hi, and the email is dorky at dump.com. Ah. And it says, I was going to not be anonymous, but I figured it would be better to be anonymous. If you really, really want to know who I am and can handle the truth, especially after number three, I'll message you and answer all your questions. And we just want to preface this with saying, if you're listening to this, we need to know who you yeah, are. Yeah, we need to know who you are. Three. We will not say it publicly, but we, have we a, need to know. We have a theory of who you are. Yeah, we both have some some top picks. We would like to see who's and correct. God, I have to know, because three we, is... Yeah. Three Jeez. is insane. And we'll, we'll also get to three, and we have some questions that we would also like cleared up um, when you submit. But yeah, we won't say your name. We just need to know. So number one, I used to go to expensive neighborhoods and squirt mustard onto cars and put a piece of bologna on it. This will strip the paint in a fantastical fashion and creates a... And here, again, is a typo that is so confusing. It says creates a D-O-U-E, fuck you. I'm thinking maybe it meant to be huge, but yeah. I also think it could be douche. A big douche fuck a, you. A big a big douche fuck you. Uh, you douche motherfucker. You come out, see shit all over your car, wipe it down, and see your paint is gone. This is very true. I have done this before. As have I. Um, allegedly, and it is it is quite it a It is doozy. exquisite. The only thing more exquisite is if you do the bologna, and then you do you lick the Oreos and put them on the windshield. Uh, and then you do the saran wrap around the car, and then you put more bologna in the saran wrap. So as you're peeling the yeah, saran wrap off, you get a piece of bologna wrap. falling everywhere. Yeah. You can also put aluminum in bleach and throw it on a car, and it does the same thing, even crazier. Yikes. Uh, number two, I would get the most powerful firecrackers we could and throw them at car windows or windshields during the 4th of July. Side note, Dodge and Chevy windows are pretty okay, and Ford windows suck. I like how much... Yeah, how clear it is that you've really done workshopped some research, it over time. You've done some science. And you really... know. Now, but I want to know what type of science. You know, were you getting different types of firecrackers, like different brands, different gauges? You toss an M80s at just... windshield. Can you imagine the guys going around the neighborhood tossing M80s at windshields? Jesus Christ. Just whole car windows, spoons <laughs> blowing out. Just windshields getting turned into little glass. And you're glass fingering dust. a girl in the back oh, of it. Oh, my and you're God. Like, what the fuck was that? And you're like, yeah, it'll be something like that. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, what the fuck was that? Wow, did you come? Like, <laughs> is this squirty? Is this what sex is? It's some poor kids. Some kid fingering for the first time. Oh, like, that sentence at first was bad and weird. <laughs> yeah, no, I saw it in your face, and that's why I saved it as quick yeah. as humanly possible. Good job. Yeah, very clear. Speaking of kids, number three, 
<laughs> I have friends that can confirm this. Oh, this which is fucked is up, everybody. This is fucked up. Yeah, this is a bit of a doozy, but we're all here now. You're here with us. Um, And again, if someone is somehow just clicking at this very part right here, this is a submission I'm reading and not me <laughs> saying a true story from this my life. This is a submission a fan <laughs> sent us. When I was in second grade, I was staying the night at a friend's house. There were three of us, and we were staying up late talking shit. I don't know how it came up first, but we started playing strip, rock, paper, scissors. Fuck this. It got to the point where we were all in our underwear, and then we got the bright idea to start grinding dicks together. We figured out it was better when our underwear was gone, and uh, yeah, kids getting head when they were six? Fuck that. Three-way when I was seven or eight or whatever second grade age is. Also... 13 minutes and 20 seconds into episode 88, Drama said, and I quote, we don't shame you, and I hope this applies here. Hope you find my shame funny. See ya. We do not shame you. At all. We never will. We do not pass judgment here on the show. We We have a lot of questions. Also, to clear up the line about the kids getting head when they were six, that is a line from... Young Dolph. Young Dolph. uh, The song By Mistake, and I quote, if I can quote the bar correctly... Uh, Don't mean to brag, but I'm the shit. Hate to brag, but I'm the shit. shit. Got Got some some head head when when I was six. six. Which is a bar that has stuck out to both of us since we first heard it. Um, (coughs) Because a lot of times... <laughs> that was weird and I hate what just came out of my throat. What was it? <laughs> that was gentle and harsh at the same time. Yeah, I, I don't like that. You. A lot of yeah. <laughs> wow. Uh, oh. We've learned. We've oh, learned a lot today. today. Thank uh, God for this. I learned a lot crazy about myself. Uh, but what when I listen to songs, I don't always listen to all the words right away. Yeah. Sometimes I'm trying to take but, everything but in. Pop out. But some pop out. And that was one of those where the first time because he's got a good flow and the beat hits really yeah. hard and it's just like got some head because the beat stops it goes got some head when i was six it's like so he pu- he thought yeah. about what to put during that b- bar break uh-huh. and he put it there and there's just so much thought i've put he's, into this yeah, and so if doing. if you don't know what we're referencing we made references trying to rhyme like yeah hate to yeah we don't need to get right we're not gonna that. get into it but it's we were doing different ages episode. with different things if yeah. you've listened to it recently but anyway to get into the juicy details here first off strip yeah. strip rock paper, paper scissors, scissors I've never heard, heard of, of in my life a strip poker but that gets that's it. a classic you doing strip rock paper scissors you're getting right that's down quick. to it that is so you know quick. what i mean you're, what you might as well just okay so we're so let's just assume here now when we now when he was talking about second graders talking shit all i could picture is a bunch of little kids sitting around like smoking cigars like men like yeah drinks like like us like mm-hmm. talking shit you know uh so what i'm picturing is these kids probably don't have like undershirts it's probably just like a shirt yeah with like pants and underwear mm-hmm. socks so did they do each sock individually were socks part of a set so at this point so here's how you got to do individual so three guys here so in, in terms three of children three children so in terms of articles of clothing we're talking about shirt pants underwear socks are we counting socks as a pair or separate separate so five items of clothing each so someone could have had a hat so but so so let's just shoes say, are we saying shoes let's say shoes too just we're saying for the tops sake of it. 10. 10 10 articles of clothing tops. so we're talking 30 rounds of rock paper scissors yeah. Let, let's just do five real quick okay Let, I love rock paper. Scissors, I know. I also love rock I paper scissors. I, I was uh, th- th- there's a um, uh, kid that has, I know who's just learned rock paper scissors, mm-hmm. but she doesn't get that you don't win no matter what you do. Uh. So she goes rock paper scissors, and she shoots scissors every time. Yeah. So when you shoot scissors, her scissors win. When you shoot paper, scissors obviously wins. When you do rock, the scissors cut the rock somehow. Uh, yeah. So it's, it's always rock, scissors. rock paper scissors. I win. Rock paper scissors. I win. You gotta curb that. That's I've I've been trying. I've been trying right, to curb it. Trust me. Okay, so are we doing shoot? Yep. Okay. Atta boy. That's the rule. Rock, paper, paper scissors, shoot. Boom. All right. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. One more. Since yeah. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. <laughs> okay, so I'm naked. <laughs> You're naked. I won the uh, so what did I win? Four. Four. I won four out of six. Uh one was a tie. So I'm. So I, have two, I'm I have two shirts on. I won't even take my hat off because I would love to be nude with a hat on. Oh, who wouldn't? <laughs> that I got to do shoes or pants. Okay, so right now I'm wearing. But shoes. I'm getting pretty close. Shoes. I have shoes, socks, pants. Does the belt count as part of the pants? No. 
Okay. Or it, it, yeah, it's so not be- a separate the, article. The belt no. is part of the pants. That's what uh, girls do when you play strip things. Shirt, undershirt, hoodie. So I've got six items of clothing yeah. on right now. So, yeah, it can go very quickly. That's what I mean. You guys wanted to see so each other. Naked. I would say at this point, I've lost. So at this point, you've lost your shirt, your undershirt, your pants, and let's say your shoes. Okay. So you're in your socks, underwear, and hat at this point. Yeah. I'm over here in just my undershirt, my pants, my socks, and my shoes. Yeah. So, so at this point, we're already pretty close to being naked. But, okay, so, yeah, that's that's what I mean. Strip, rack, paper, scissors, get, you get right down And I get you know, what we want. I would say as children, the easier way to go with it would have been, like, uh, strip, go fish. You yeah. Know, which would also go I quick. Think, yeah, I think you But it would stick within to... that card game parameter. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Rock, paper, scissors is wild. Yeah. But, yeah, you guys were trying to get down to it. And then, um, so, yeah, for, for your response, you just, like, you just started grinding dicks <laughs> in your underwear? <laughs> like, thank you. Do you know what I mean? Like, that was your thought. No, like, and no, again, no judgment or shame. I just no. It's just I need to know how it happens. Like because it's like like what about like and I get like you're young boys being boys. Well, and I get dicks together. Well, and I get like that's maybe what that age and that kind of point where you're like oh other boys have dicks too or something. You know where it's like you 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 are starting to understand your body a little bit. You're starting to understand that other people have a body like yours. You know, so I get where like you would have a curiosity and about how, it, so there's but not. Three... A, I just never like as a kid. I know because like I mean we we've all been kids and seen other kids' dicks and stuff like that. Yeah, but almost it's like, exclusively. Almost exclusively, but it's like at no point during this would I have ever been naked with a group of my friends yeah. as a child and, and that's even what, had my penis out that, and thought to rub it together. You say that friends can confirm this. So are you guys like? Is this a story that comes up from time is to time? Is this like a stand by like me finding a body in the woods thing yeah, you guys but keep you to find yourselves your dicks grinding upon yeah, one another? Yeah, somebody, those kids just go out in the woods and see you kids grinding yeah. your dicks together? It's like, what kind of movie is this? <laughs> it's rated R. What is this kind of Werner Herzog film is this? Yeah, so you guys like, do you guys talk about this? Also, so then you realize, and it, it's not far-fetched to realize, yeah, take the take the underwear off. Let's really grind these dicks together. But it's like, at what point it says did you guys... threesome. So the, what are we talking about? Yeah, what were you guys... Like, here? you didn't... You left out some vital storytelling yeah. at the end of this. Because it's like, okay... That's, that's what I need to know. Were you guys just, like, taking your weird little, like, seven-year-old peckers and just, like, rubbing the heads together? Yeah. Were you guys, like, doing a... And there's like, do you come at you. that? Do you come at that age? Or is it just, like, a dry can. orgasm? I think I think some people can, but I think it's out of the ordinary. Yeah. So like they're not even like so if it's like a bunch of kids, like let's just assume they can't come. Yeah. For the sake of the story, God, for the love of God, it. let's assume these kids can't come. <laughs> this, uh, is bad. this is bad. This episode. Oh, this episode is, is gonna be pissed. <laughs> but that mouse is gonna march down here and bitch slap the both Listen, of us. Listen, everybody. Listen, everybody. Ho ho! Time to get the glove. And you're just gonna get whopped across the face by that big also, Mickey glove. Really sharp. Lots of spikes on it on the inside. He's it turns out to me they like lay down and then you yeah. just pop them out. It's like a weird evolutionary thing. But um. He drank the water, and the it's a it's a small world, right? But uh, yeah. So there, and there's three I, of you too. So, so like, are you standing in a triangle? Yeah. Like, are you just guys? Because what I'm pick, what I picture in my head when I hear this scenario is uh, I don't think three. You should. I don't want to, but it's like I'm just picturing. We'll say for the sake of the argument, then three men okay. standing together with their penises in a tr- in a t- like take your pointer finger and you like, want my put, penis out. I mean, if you would. Okay. So, like, that's what I'm like picturing. That. Yeah, like a triangle formation where they're just kind of, yeah, like, like, rubbing, rubbing them all together but right I feel here. Like you gotta rub. Well, I mean, like, yeah, there's you know probably I mean? some, like... Probably, yeah, just, like... But, like, so, like, were they, like, gripping their dicks and rubbing them? Or was, it, was there, like, hands, I ho- like, I, touching I, I hands? Really, I really don't like, want to harp on this. I don't want to harp on this. <laughs> so, yeah, maybe, And this is the first time we've genuinely <laughs> yeah, meant it when we've said for, that. Yeah, I feel like I dusted off that gem just to be sincere. And genuine. Don't want to harp on this. But Whoever yeah, you are, let us know who you are. Get in touch, answer our questions. Yes, and please. tell us who you are. Uh, uh, you have to now. If we won't tell anyone, it is just between you and the dads. But yeah, we have we to know for secrets. ourselves. Yeah, we yeah, we keep. You a, said you said, said you would tell us, so you you know, you know that you'll tell us, and we have our theories. So please, for please get in God. touch as we soon gotta, as you hear this right now. We, I demand. We got a case of natter days riding on this. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, next submission is very long and different uh so th- just a little bit of preface for this one if you're new to the show 
Uh, I don't. If you're I, new I, to the show, you've turned it off for yeah, sure. Now. For sure. For sure. Uh, but is, so if you've listened to the show, I can't pinpoint when it was exactly. But it was we, early. We got a submission from a, from a person. We can't clarify if it's a man or a woman. Yeah. We don't know who it is. We don't know anything we don't know about who any, this person. Again, if you submit anonymously, we, we genuinely 100% don't, percent don't know. know who it is unless you put your name or your real email address and, in there or you and, sign it. And this is proof of the you know anonymity that you can have with us. This person made a submission to us about how basically they felt that everything bad that happened to them in their life was because they had an altercation when they were a child. They were out rollerblading with their dog and something happened with their neighbor and they were so mad about the altercation that in their mind they're like, I wish that person was everything dead. Bad would happen everything bad in the world would happen to them. And this person, then a series of very unfortunate things bad happened things happened to, to this person. So now this person is grappling with feelings of depression and just like a deep sadness. And they, when they initially had submitted to us, they had told us that they believed that in their core, everything bad that happened to them in their personal life was because of the curse, the curse we'll quote here, the curse yeah. that they put on this person, because let's just be a hundred percent real. You can't curse somebody no. like that. Cause and I do this still, even after hearing that submission, I do I this on a daily basis driving where I'm like, I hope your fucking car crashes. Right. Like you, you wish ill on people in the moment because you're frustrated, but you yeah. never genuinely mean it. Bad Something. things happen to people all the time. Yeah. And you can't. And we, have yeah, a we did reason. a deep dive into it. I don't find the episode. It's out there. It's out there and somewhere. But it's a submission that stuck with us and we reference it from time and, to time. And we, it did stick with us quite a bit. And so this is all it, it seemed cathartic in a way to get a response from it after so long. Yeah. Uh, but we but do. Then it doesn't. We'll but get then into we'll it. get into yeah. it. But basically this is a follow up submission from the person who believed that they had cursed yeah. that person's life after they listened to what we had to say about their situation on the show. So this is like the sequel. Yeah. And it comes from curse guy and the email is cursed at one.com. So going to be like, completely honest when you, with you when this comes through, I read curse guy and I pictured the little man from Madison. Cause yeah. that's the curse guy in my mind. And I was like, Oh, here it is. He's finally going to end us. But yeah, again, this is a long one. So bear with us. It says hello again. It's me, the guy that thought he cursed himself. I was the one that made the submission, that submission, the one where I talked about a childhood accident that involved some rollerblades, a dog, and a friendly neighbor. I want to shed some light on my life, if only for a brief moment. I've been doing okay since my last submission, but not great. Just writing the fine line we all strive to stay on. You know, the one where we say, eh, could be better, but I don't want to kill myself or anything. I don't want to go into details, but I've improved... I have a new job with a lot of potential and objective and objectively my life is pretty swell, but I still have the depression, a sickness we all seem to have in recent times. I mean, how could you not? But some of that still comes from a bleak childhood. Some some from the man I seem to have cursed or maybe not. I don't know anymore. I'm not one to believe in superstitions or ghosts or God or any of that bullshit, but it still haunts me to this day. I took to heart what you fine fellows offered up to me so long ago. I know it wasn't my fault, but a part of me wants wants it to be my fault. It would be something I can point to and say that's why I'm so fucked up, that's why I'm sad, because I somehow ruined a decent man's life. But that'd be too easy. That would be easy. I wouldn't have to acknowledge my pretty good upbringing, this drowning, all-encompassing all sadness. I can just blame it all on one easy to point instance in my life where the stars align to make a shitty situation. I don't know why I'm sad. I don't know why anyone is sad. And that scares me. I thought I was getting better. I thought I had changed my circumstances enough to make a better person. I thought I could be happy. But here I am drunk and thinking about all the shitty things I've done to seek validation and acceptance. I wanted to blame it all on one thing that was out of my control because then it wasn't my fault. But the truth is, I don't know why I am the way I am. On paper, I shouldn't be sad. I should be chipper and excited to be where I am, but I'm not. Why? That question burns in my mind all the time. Why can't I be happy? And I don't have the answer, and it terrifies me. I've talked to friends and some family, but it doesn't make sense. I guess if I was honest with a therapist, I may figure out the answer. But here I am, drunk, alone, not even able to come forth as who I am. I can't let people see the real me. What would they think? It's not even about the guy I may or may not have cursed. It's about who I am inside, deep down, the true me. 
I can't reveal to anyone because what if I end up alone? Again, I can't say who I am in my... And I can never say that word. An animate and... <laughs> when I'm anonymous, Anonymity. I can speak freely. I can say what really bothers me and not worry about pushing people, the people I love, away. Sure, they would try to help me however they can, but then they go home. When they return to their lives, I'll be here alone again. You guys know me, but I can't ever admit it. I can't show my real self to anyone. I'm not going to end this with some excuse the blood, dead from mayhem-esque suicide note. I won't kill myself. I know one day, maybe 30 years from now, I'll be able to figure it out. But for now, here I am alone again. Thanks for bearing with me. I have moved on from the man I may or may not have cursed. But in realizing that, no matter how coincidental it was, I didn't curse him. But now I have to figure myself out. Or find some other trauma to pit the blame on for my feelings. Maybe I'll take on writing. It's cathartic, and I've been told I got something. Keep up the show. You guys got something here, too. Till the next time, Curse Guy. All right. Uh, all right. Here, here's everything I'm, I'm just going to have to say about this. I... The, the person, whoever wrote this, is very correct in the sense that it, as a society, we do seem to have all, de- we all seem to have oh, depression yeah. or anxiety, you know, and we can't necessarily pinpoint where it is or what causes it with some of us, you know, and I think you and I can openly admit that we are two people who have dealt with their fair share of depression oh, and anxiety. Yeah. Uh, and, and even to this day, we still have our struggles with it, you yeah. know, um, what the, the main takeaway I have from this, just hearing this person's response to this is it's going to sound kind of harsh. So if you're listening to this, I really don't want you to take this in a harsh way. But this is something I realized for myself is that if you want something bad enough in life, you will find any way to do it. You know, Mm -hmm. think about like when you were a kid and there was like a show you wanted to go to and your parents said no or you were grounded or something. You thought of every single way you could to get out of the house to sneak away to go to that show because you wanted it so bad that it like made your stomach hurt that you like sat there and it like shook you when you're depressed like that and the main point this person kept driving is that they're alone they feel very alone and Mm -hmm. sad and realistically whoever you are at the end of the day you are alone in the world and even if you have friends even if you have camaraderie and people that you consider family even if you're around people all the time you are still alone as a person. Yeah. You, you came into the world alone and you may die in the company of people, but you're going out by yourself, you know? Mm-hmm. So first off, you have to learn how to be happy with yourself, how to yeah. love yourself and live with yourself. And secondly, like I said, it may come across as harsh, but if you want happiness bad enough, like the happiness that you're seeking, you will do whatever it takes to get that kind of happiness, you know? It's one thing that because n- nobody... And this is a fact. Nobody likes the person that sits there and says, why me, poor me all the time. Mm -hmm. Nobody wants to help a person that sits there and is like, the world sucks. I'm sad. All this stuff. When I see people who are genuinely like, you know what? Life is hard, but I'm trying really hard to be happy. You know, this shit sucks, but I'm working on moving past it. I really respect moves like that because you do have to be a realist about the world. Mm -hmm. Bad things will happen to you and bad things will continue to happen to you. You're not always going to be great all the time. I have days where like I am riding so high that I feel like a god and nothing can stop me. And then I have days that are so low that like I just want to lay on the couch and like have the TV on and just binge my phone until I pass out. You know, but it doesn't take away from the fact that at the end of the day, I am choosing life that makes me happy sometimes the things i do wear me out and sometimes they make sometimes the things leave me exhausted mentally and stressed out but at the end of the day i know that i'm choosing my own happiness because i was in a spot very similar to this man not where i was blaming this person this person I, i say man subjectively i was in a similar situation to this person where you know i felt everything bad was happening to me for a reason i was trying to pinpoint it i was trying to blame it but at some point you kind of have to step in and realize that maybe you're the problem you know maybe you're the one with the bad behavior that's causing these bad things to happen in yeah, your life yeah that sounds super harsh one thing i want to say for sure is like it it's probably just like a chemical imbalance and it, don't be and opposed it, to like therapy yeah, or you should medicine try for sure therapy first because you should try to talk to someone who objectively has no involvement. And and they can tell you again, like, yeah, it's clearly, just to reiterate, it's not because you put a it's curse not on because a of that man when you were a child. Right. Because then we'd all be fucked. 
if you believe in karma and you think that's what that's from, karma doesn't work like that at either. all. You know you what know? I mean? Well, the, like... the point, the thing that upset me the most about what was said here is that they're like, you know, I've come to terms with this. But yeah. now I just need to find like it's like they're looking for something you, else to pinpoint the sadness. Yeah, on, I think they know? that's as they said, it's easier to pinpoint it on right, something, which you know? it is. And I think we all do that. And I think honestly, for people who are depressed and mm-hmm. alone from time to time, there's something very attractive about depression. As there well. is because there's a lot of great art that's based around it. Right. And it's not always bad. Sometimes well, it makes everything good feel so much better when you're having a good time when you've right. been depressed. Like there's something attractive to it if you have that mindset. Right. And I mean, there's something to be and in a way, our society glamorizes it. In a oh, way. you know, it, yeah. it views like depression as art. You know, it yeah. views you being mentally unstable as a part. It, it basically makes people's mental instability is part of their personality when mm-hmm. it's not it's something that is affecting you and afflicting you it's not a piece of who you are yeah. you know so l- i don't mean to come across as harsh at all no, you know i get I what do, you mean i do genuinely believe that whoever this is they should seek out a therapist or yeah. just I've... somebody non-subjective that they can vent to yeah and i don't know if this works for them how they yeah. submit to us but it's like and we're also we can't help anyone no we can't we can chime in and we can tell you but everybody's different also it, i think a big huge chunk of it is like i don't know how old you are but right. you might be young as fuck and i think that's part of the problem because only in the past few years yeah. have i like fully understood why i get depressed or how much right. anxiety, yeah. anxiety i have for the longest time i was like this is just it and like i don't do as much as i should to try to fix it right but i understand it more and life gets better it's the same shit when you see kids who have problems with school and shit and get bullied or just like i fucking hated school people who want to kill themselves when they're in high school after high school you can be done with school and then it's a whole different thing and i think there's a chunk of like post high school to like mid 20s probably where where it's the same shit you just are still figuring out your life like the older you get i think the less at least for me the I'm less it affects you or the more i understand and yeah the older you get the more likely you're you are to have a yeah. significant other a house a job all the things that everyone strives for right if that's yeah. what you want or just things to distract you or whatever it is you find it the more you get as older. time goes on you begin but to yeah, figure out more who you go are. to a therapist if you're able to do it i've went to a therapist and it didn't take long for her to pinpoint that it was my childhood yeah. and it's like the same shit i could say it was my childhood and i could sit around and be like fuck right. you know what i mean but then you don't yeah you can't do anything about the past same right. thing with if you curse the guy even if that is completely true you can't you Sorry, can't go back you can't and change do it. Anything. There's nothing you That's can do. That's one thing I've had to learn about everything, like how angry I get and how depressed I get. Like, if I can't change it, then fuck it because right, you can't yeah. do anything There's about no it. There's no point in wasting energy on things that yeah. you can't change. And it's real easy to do because as human beings, especially when we we're, we're have feelings of depression and anxiety, you know, it's real easy to think of regrets and things yeah. that are wrong and bad and things that we would change. But it's one of the things that – I had to almost train myself to do was to become a forward thinker. Mm-hmm. You know, I had to start purposefully thinking more about the future. And they do say psychologically that when you have a negative thought, when you on purpose, like purposefully counter it with a positive thought, you are retraining your neural pathways when mm-hmm. to go from doing things one way to another way. So even just recognizing how you feel about it like really like when you sit here and you feel alone like you feel this feeling that makes you want to drink that makes you feel alone think about what are you feeling what are those emotions what is causing that yeah even think about like how you physically feel think about how you're carrying that depression is it in your shoulders is your jaw clenched does your back hurt you know think about where you need to let go of that tension really explore who ever you are explore that person explore yeah. those feelings because so but many again of... there is like you can't always just fix it on your own no and like I... you can if you google tips for like depression and anxiety there's a list of shit you can do you can eat better you can exercise and that shit can help you there's apps i have an app on my phone it's called calm mm-hmm. no sponsorship no, i've never I, even i've, I've barely used it because i'm so overloaded that i don't have time to focus you on don't fixing have time things. to relax um but shit like that otherwise yeah go to a therapist when i went to a therapist it was probably 20 minutes of talking and she was like you should seek out medication and she was like obviously i have nothing to gain from that i would love and if you need someone to talk to we can do this all the time but she's like you sound like you need medication like you have a and that's not 
anything to be embarrassed or upset not at about. All. And it's something that might not work. I've known people who have had to try so many different medications to figure it out. You have to go in knowing what to expect and have people around you that you can and just be open with people. No one's going to judge you or give a shit. Look at how it is nowadays. Everybody, it's so much better to freely like this. Me talking about anxiety on here has helped with some of my anxiety. Right. Recognizing where it is. So tell people, get some medication if you feel comfortable with that or try your natural alternatives Mm -hmm. and tell people you're doing it so that they can recognize if you start to go crazy because there are side effects and everybody's so different. There's so many chemical imbalances. And if you just like read up on all this shit, but don't be afraid to reach out to someone. Don't always reach out to us. We're here. And yes, I, I'm i happy that if this helps you, I'm very happy about it. I'm very happy you Absolutely, emphasize that you're yeah. not going to kill yourself because that's never the answer. And ever, if anyone ever, is ever. listening to that or listening to this and feels like that, there's the suicide hotline. You can contact us. We can't save your life and we no. can't make you better. But if you need someone to talk to, just don't ever do that shit because yeah. it's stupid and it's selfish or it's whatever will keep you here. Right. But try things. Yeah. Talk to someone. Try medication. Like it, if you feel like this and don't just drink. <laughs> like, no, drinking doesn't. We help. glamorize drinking because it's fucking fun. Because it's fun. But this is not. This is when it becomes no. shitty. We, and we all have times where we're drinking and having a good time, and then you're the last one drinking, and you get to this, and yeah. I don't like that feeling. No. Or we talk about like, sad car rides home, but at the end of the day, that's just like that's just us, powerful and it's fun and it's right. Like it's, it's a just stress us doing a and we're thing, yeah, you know? and we're all sad and shit. But like yeah, you just gotta you gotta work on yourself. There's countless ways to do it. You're you're not alone because everybody feels like this to an extent. Right, yeah. And you got to meet some people. I don't I know that's not easy especially the older you get, but mm-hmm. like if you just got a new job, meet people at work or hit up friends or whatever. Well, you know, and it's, you and it's like you said, just don't be afraid. You know that? Yeah, because it's fear, very scary. Fear is what holds a lot of people back from doing a lot of things. But really what got me, pa- what personally got me past that fear block was that, well, everything else I've been doing hasn't worked. Let me try something that maybe scares me and maybe it'll work, you know, because nine times out of 10, if you're scared of something and you just brave through it and just try it, you'll see that it wasn't as bad as you were thinking it was in the first place. Think about for those of you who listen that like work out and go to the gym. Think about how much you have to convince yourself to go to the oh, gym yeah. some days, but then how good you feel when you leave. Yeah. You're, you feel like on top of the world. You yeah. feel like you're doing the best thing ever. A lot thing of things ever. aren't easy, especially if it's to fix you things, in any way. Things worth, do, things worth having and doing aren't supposed to be yeah. easy. you know. And, and that's not to say that you have to fight for everything good. Yeah. But sometimes if you really genuinely want to grow, you know, you have to be put into uncomfortable situations. Yeah. I've always been a firm proponent of saying that comfort is where hope dies because yeah. once you get comfortable with something, that's when you start to grow stagnant. You know, you get used to things. You have to challenge yourself sometimes to b- build a better version of yourself. You know, mm. I, I, I stress self-reflection quite a bit but that works for me personally yeah that's what exactly why we can't help anyone full-fledged because we just everybody works for us yeah you know but that's what i mean just pop online look at all the ways you can fix yourself if you don't want to jump right into therapy or medication Mm -hmm. but don't rule those out go through everything you just got to find what works for you right you feel alone i promise you it sounds like you're young not to jump to assumptions because i used to assume i would die Probably by as old as I may be now. Yeah, right. And that I would never have, like, a partner or anything. Right. And you just grow up and it happens. You'll find someone. Everybody can find someone that loves them no matter how fucking crazy you are. No. Trust me, I'm fucking insane and people have loved me. No, trust me. I have been a fat, disgusting, drunk slob. Like, I've been a disgusting monster. Yeah. And I have somehow constantly been able to find somebody that either wanted to fuck me or wanted to be around me. And I suck. Like, I am an awful human being. I know. I am a monster. And I am somehow able to constantly find people that want to be around me. Yeah. So, yeah, we've we've given you some options. Again, we can't do everything for you if you need to continue submitting. If you want to submit and not have it read out, I don't know which one helps you. We're here for you. But we're not your doctors. No. There's a lot of options you can do. You're going to be all right. Trust you're, me. You're going to be. It, you may not see it now. Yeah. Even you in the, never do. And the farthest foresight that you have in your mind for what you're currently doing, you may not see it. But you're going to what's going to happen is you're going to wake up one day and you're going to just realize it's just not that bad anymore. You know, all the bad things that have ever happened in my life that I thought were like life changing like and it would never be OK. It, they I all, look back now and I'm like, 
I'm like, whatever. Who fucking cares? Yeah, exactly. I got arrested at 17 and I thought my life was over. And now I think of that some days and I'm like, what? I think about a year ago and yeah. I think about how fucked up my life was and everything. Yeah. And I look at just a year ago yeah. and how put together and better fast. everything is yeah. now. You know, like yeah. how, like, I'm not trying to sound like a bragger, but like how good is my life now? Yeah. You know, That's like how I mean. happy yeah, am you I? You never know. You know. It could be a week from now and something insane could happen. Right. Know? Like shit changes, don't stress it too much. You'll be all right. Into Wh- whoever you are, okay. just just know it's okay. You're gonna be okay. And then for our final submission here comes from. Well, sweet, we do have sweet. one more. Well, we're also really running on time, so all we right. might have to hold off because we also have a voicemail from some little tiny fuck that we <laughs> didn't get to. But uh, yeah, so maybe we'll save those for next episode. We're finally hitting so many submissions that we got to stretch them out. This final one here comes from a little old Leonard at. Suckle at titties.com is the email. And he says, Here are some band slash artists. What do you guys think about them? I think some would be up your alley, but others may not. All right. Want to do a quick roll of this one? Yeah. Well, that, there's some I have things to say about. Okay. Um, number one, modern baseball. Um, uh, yeah. But I like, like it's not a thing where I'm yeah, going like, to be crazy about your it. Your graduation is an unbelievably amazing song Incredible. that I listen all the time. Um, and I think it might be a case of a song is so good that all their other shit doesn't quite add up for me, or maybe I need to listen more, but right. yeah, if just for your graduation alone, yeah. Um, and then the next one I've not really heard of, it's the Front Bottoms? Yeah, never, well, can you say it again? The Front Bottoms? Are you saying it right? I don't know, what even is that? I have no idea. Yeah, I don't know, I definitely haven't seen them live and own a bunch mm. of their records. Yeah, we don't sing, scream, scream them yeah, on. sing, scream <laughs> a lot of their songs, the car ride yeah. song. Um, yeah, I guess they're okay. <laughs> talk to. Talk I want to wanna contribute <laughs> to the chaos. I don't want to watch and then complain. Um, yeah, talk to Young Kurd about them because I think it's his favorite band. He yeah. claims, and uh, he got me into them and uh, got, slim by got, yeah by, by default proxy. because of that. And yeah, he uh, he took me to see them at the House of I Blues in Chicago. I have a very nice front bottom shirt that is too big for me at the house, but I will still keep because it is a beautiful design on the front. There you go. Yeah, we're we're front bottom fans. Uh, mom jeans. Uh, I, you know, I I really like mom jeans. I like actually. mom jeans. That album from last year, I wasn't as big of a fan. It was of. all right. Uh, I like the song Pickle Bart off that. But yeah, that first Best Buds album and Shred Cuz off of whatever fucking split that fucking thing mm-hmm. is. That thing's insane. And and Len- Leonard, pop on YouTube, look up. I can't remember what I typed in. Something about like a drum cover yeah. for mom jeans, Shred Cuz or whatever the song's called. Play it like that drummer. It's a camera just on him. And it makes no sense. It makes me so angry because I can't even play along to that shit because right, it's yeah. just so weird. And then he does some shit where he's like hitting the hi hat with doing his like left weird hand little like fills and, and like, stuff. What are you doing? So yeah, just for the drummer alone, it's incredible. But yeah, that first album solid. Uh, the cardboard swords. I never heard of them. They fall into that uh, too whiny. <laughs> you know what I mean? All these yeah. other bands are whiny, whiny white guys with girlfriend I'll problems. I'll say Front Bottoms is about as whiny as I can take. Yeah, that's pretty much up there. This shit, yeah, the Cardboard Swords, I've like come across them on Spotify, and the guy's voice is just annoying, yeah. and it's too like pity party, so that one doesn't do it for me. Uh, next is The Mansions, which this is the only one I wasn't aware of. Is, does it have a Z on the end? No, it's Okay, S. yeah, no, I, I don't know. Yeah, I looked it up on Spotify, and it looked like it was from the 90s, so I'm guessing I don't know who that i i don't know so i guess send us something if it's good if it's bad then you, you keep just it. keep it just keep it and then finally joyce manor um uh, i have mixed feelings on i've joyce always manor. like everyone i know that listens to this type of music like that's their favorite band but and like they're constantly yeah. compared to like jeff rosenstock and shit that i love and every time I, i've listened I like to him i jeff feel rosenstock like way more than yeah i, like I love manor. jeff rosenstock every time like i've tried to listen to joyce manor yeah. and like everything i've listened to the most popular songs the albums i always and, like, get uh joyce manor and vance joy confused in my mind like when i think about the two bands i yeah. see like that vance joy cover with the guy's face on it yeah and i think it's a joyce manor album and i know yeah. i'm very wrong about that <laughs> Yeah, I've never been able to get into Joyce Manor. They're not bad. It's just one of those bands where you're like, yeah, I don't know why, but this just doesn't uh, doesn't do it for me. And then last here, also, you may have talked about this or not. I can't remember, but what sounds better? Do you want to go with me to my cottage in the forest, or do you want to go with me to my cabin in the woods? Try to ignore the movie Cabin in the Woods for this. Hmm. I said cottage in the forest for sure. Yeah, sounds more enchanting. Yeah, but what is, is this like a thing? 
or like why would we have does he have a cottage this? and a cabin yeah because if you do we need to talk yeah because when did you think we talked about the <laughs> yeah. specifics between a cottage and a cabin yeah well it's we just, talk about a cabin quite it's a bit. just the same too are you trying to lure a person to the woods or forest what's yeah, the difference between a woods and a forest i don't know i think the uh, the forest is bigger if I had to guess, the, the woods, woods seems small. like it could just be woods is like small. a neighborhood. The yeah, forest woods is like can a be city. like just the woods over there. Forest is like the forest. a forest preserve or like yeah. a big chunk of area. Either way, I, I think, guess a cottage in the woods because if something bad's gonna happen, I want to get out quicker. Yeah, I think. But that's no, just it's my... cabin in the woods I'd... or cottage in the forest. I guess cottage in the forest. Cottage in the forest sounds better. The woods has a creepy tone to it, and not just because of the movie Cabin in the Woods, which is incredible. Yeah. But like saying like let's go into the woods seems well, eerie. The go into is... the forest seems like I'm gonna see. No, because like... then I think about the horror movie The Forest. No, I think a forest sounds more magical. Like yeah, because you're thinking of Forrest and... Gump. You're thinking of the Frank Ocean song. That's why you're thinking. Magical. Yeah, I'm thinking of. I know. I know where your bra- I know where your brain goes. My fingertips <laughs> and my lips they burn from the cigarettes. <laughs> um. Yeah, I think a forest just woods can be creepy. Woods is where bodies are found. Forest is where birds and squirrels. Forest is where you go missing and you're never heard from again. But cottage sounds nicer than see cabin is nice. Cabin and cottage, I wouldn't be able to pick between. How about a cottage in the woods versus a cabin in the forest? I think cottage sounds so nice that I would go cottage in the woods. Cottage just sounds very nice. Cottage nothing bad happens in a cottage. Cottage just sounds like stabbed to death in a cottage. Like like antiquated, you know, like cottage. Like it's like cozy, classy, like like a little B and B. Yeah, you know, just beautiful. It's got like it got like lace everywhere. Oh yeah, too much lace. A cottage, too far too much lace to be comfortable. Lace Lace everything. I am so uncomfortable, but I'm happy to (laughs) be here. There is so much lace, but I am somehow so comfortable. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. This lace is itchy. I guess we're saying cottage in the forest or cottage in the woods. Cottage, you could say cottage in, at the dump, and could, I'd be like, get, I gotta see that cottage. Yeah, you could, to say, be honest you could with say cottage at Chernobyl, and I'd probably yeah. be down to go check it out. I mean, for sure. So yeah, I guess if we're going off of your weirdly specific question Wherever that you think we would have addressed, is. we're going cottage because we've gotten a but ca- also, we've gotten a good cabin experience. I yeah, want a good cottage experience, you know? Yeah. Then that's what I mean. Yeah, like cottage and cabin. I don't really have a preference. I yeah. think a cottage is yeah. I don't nicer. think I've ever been to a cabin. A cottage? Sure. You've been to a cabin. I was there. Oh, we're saying- I swear to God. <laughs> we're was saying- I at a cabin? Was I at a cottage or a cabin? <laughs> yeah. That's what we should start saying as we're going to the cottage. cottage. So then people know we're We're saying gay. cottage so much, it's starting to lose its meaning, you know? Like you cottage, cottage? Cottage. Cheese? Cottage cheese. What does that even mean then? Do you make that cheese at a cottage? You, cottage yeah. cheese? I've been saying this for years. Do you, this is, is my cheese, go-to argument. Is the cheese made in a cottage or do you enjoy the cheese at a cottage? I think you're supposed to enjoy the cheese at a cottage. God. Someone get at us if you have the answer to cottage cheese. Please. And also we'll be at the cottage this summer being this incredibly summer being, gay. And being gay and comfortable. Because man at a cottage a is gay. Man at a cabin, cabin that's a dad party. Yeah. yeah. Women at a cottage is a movie I like to watch by myself. Are you say are you saying that as the men at the cabin this summer we should look for the opposite go- <gasps> I know, <gasps> right? A female dad squad, squad staying at the yeah. cottage and we gotta go yeah. find him at the go cottage. Across the river. We yeah. gotta swim, <gasps> we through, gotta the swim through the river Finally. over the brewery. That's where the cottage is with the lady dad squad yeah. and they probably got natter it's like days. Every camp it's like movie. everything is working out right. everything's coming up dapper dads. There it is, folks.